how excited are you to finally take the floor here after having to uh, watch from the bench last year? Um, I'm very excited. I feel like the year was kind of a long time for me because I'm so used to playing um, in games and, you know, being the hype of the team. So I'm really looking forward to that. As we were just talking, uh, your coach is really looking forward to utilizing your speed. Uh, how do you think that will help you, and how will that help uh, maintain the philosophy of pressure defense, fast-paced offense? Um, I think it'll help a lot because on offense and stuff, we tend to um, push the floor. The coaches like the um, up tempo, so I think that it'll help a lot on defense. Um, uh, for the most part because defense is defense wins game that's how my mentality is so I think that's that's really my main part about that how tough was it to sit out last year and what did you learn from that experience uh, because even though you didn't get to play uh, you did get to scrimmage against uh, Rachel Bannum a year ago so you I imagine got a few pointers oh yeah okay so um, I think that affected me a lot in a way because I'm so used to playing and when I wasn't playing as much as I was, it kind of brought me down a little bit because, you know, that sitting out didn't feel good at all to me. But I think it helped a lot at the same time because I've learned to be more of a leader and be outspoken um, because I was so used to high school days where I was already like looked at as a leader, but coming in as a sophomore at Richard, it's like you come into a new team and then you got to get used to it. So I feel like uh, me sitting out helped me a lot as a um, player too. And getting pointers from Rachel, uh, I seen how she played and how she kept her um, mentality the same, even if she was messing up in practice or, you know, turning the ball over maybe a couple of times. She knew how to bounce back without uh, holding her head down. What did you le learn about, you know, sacrifices? You talked about leadership and perseverance because you know, it looked like you had some good things going to Marquette, then you, know, you, you make a big change and you, know, you had to endure a lot of patience, if I'm making sense here. Um, sacrifice was, yeah, that was a big thing for me because I really didn't know exactly where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do, but um, me talking to other coaches, the coaches here, um, they made me feel um, like home, like this was family, and I felt like I sacrificed um, myself to come here, and I felt like it was a good choice for me. So I think that was kind of the hard part, but it ended up good, because they always say it's not always green on the other side, but it was green on the other side for me. You're not only are you going to get to play, you're going to do so and kind of test yourself against some high-level opponents because you've got South Florida, you've got South Carolina, or South Florida potentially, North Carolina. You start with Harvard, you've got Georgetown, Seton Hall. So you know, these, you're not playing against a lot of what we would call cupcake schools. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think it helped me a lot as a player become more focused on not only like my opponents but me as a person and how I play the game. I think that playing against um, tougher teams would definitely make me compete more in the things that I, um, we overcome. And what else are you looking forward to as uh, you begin this journey in a Minnesota uniform officially? Hanging a banner. Oh, hanging a banner? Yeah, I, I'm trying to, we're trying to keep this um, uh, mentality that everything we do is to hang a banner, and I think that's my main focus right now. But I'll take it, like, one game at a time. And overall, just what do you make of all of the uh, newcomers, in addition to yourself, who will be uh, taking the floor this year for the Gophers? I think it'll be more, I think it'll be fun. Um, coming together with uh, new people, new players. Um, I think that having them by our side, I think since our like bond is there on the court and off the court, I think that I'm like, that's, that's the main thing I'm looking forward to.